Hello, and welcome to the 100th episode of Skyrim Plus. Today we're featuring Cold Beach Shack. Let's check out the map. Here we are at Cold Beach Shack. To our west is Dawnstar. To our north is Yingvild, and to our south we have the Frostflow Lighthouse and Hobbsfall Cave. You may remember that all of the new Anniversary Edition spell tomes are located in the Ancient Tome Chest in the cave, which you can exploit to get to level 100 Destruction Magic quickly. I made a walkthrough for that and I'll link it in the description. Now we're back at Cold Beach Shack. This mod was created by Praxis1, who also made Pathfinder Shack Revisited, which we covered a couple of episodes ago. In front of the home we have a wood chopping block, and we also have a full smithing suite with a smelter, tanning rack, anvil, workbench, and grindstone. The description says he built this home in conjunction with Frostfall, and made it with a simple look without oversaturating it with unnecessary objects. Let's head inside. As we enter, we see the back door and a dresser with four additional storage containers for you to organize your home. The basket is your weapon storage. Our next section contains a bedroll, cooking pot, and some harvestable ingredients. And to the left we have named storage for food. And the wall to the right has a map of Skyrim, named storage for books and scrolls, as well as a shrine of RK. The back wall has an enchanting table and two additional storage containers. Let's check out the backyard. In the back, we have a garden with nine fertile soils. We also have an outdoor alchemy table and two chests to store potions and ingredients. Let's take one more spin around this area. Doesn't it look great? As for final thoughts, I like the simple design and that it has most of the crafting stations. It's even better that most are able to be accessed without having to go through a loading door. You can also have some nice views of Yingvild and the Shrine of Azura, and its location near Dwarven Ruins might suit some players well, especially those that play with Frostfall as a place to find warmth in the cold. This concludes our tour of Cold Beach Shack. If you enjoyed the show, please click the like button and leave a comment with your thoughts. To see more of my past tours, click the playlist on the top left. To see my future content, click the channel icon on the bottom left to subscribe. And to never miss an episode, click the bell icon to receive notifications of when I post. As always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next episode.